back to Farm and Ranch Hacks. Today we're looking at some gates. They're pretty rusty, very loud, and they don't take grease right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some greaser to in those, or grease fittings, just so that those can take grease and it'll be a lot quieter. Then when we're running cattle through here, they won't be distracted or scared by that noise. It'll help us work them a little more stress-free. What we're looking at here today is some rusty gates. These are held on with a top collar. That means it's not as simple as just pulling the gate down, greasing it up, and putting it back up or anything like that. In order to do that, we'd have to cut through the metal and re-weld it back up. So our fix to that is going to be drilling through this, and we're going to put a greaser or grease fitting in there. And that'll let us pump grease in there with a the grease gun, and it'll make these a lot quieter, a lot easier to use. Here's a quick demonstration of what these sound like after they're nice and rusty right before we're about to work cattle. <laughs> very unpleasant noise and when you're trying to get cattle to go where you want them to and listen to you it's very difficult that's really distracting to them and really spooks them so that makes everything more difficult for us we've got our rigid 18 volt drill we're not sponsored by them but we sure would like to be and some WD-40 for some cutting oil a 3 16 inch drill bit and a little package of grease certs or grease fittings so these are not threaded they're just pressure fit so we don't have to tap this hole, which makes it a lot easier for us. What we're going to do is we're going to drill right about in the middle of here, so that'll take grease all the way around. And we're trying to be out of the way of the cattle, so when they're passing by these, it doesn't dig into them and damage both the cattle and the grease fit. We're going to apply a little bit of oil, and that'll help keep your drill bit cool so it doesn't burn up. If you do have drill bits burn up, we've got a video on a drill bit sharpener to get those back up and going. That's walking a little bit because this drill bit is not split cut, which I should have done. You can also tap a center punch here and that'll keep your drill bit from walking away from you. I don't have that with me right now, so we're just gonna do the best we can. Every once in a while we'll apply some more oil, just to keep that from getting too hot. You can see we punch through if we move this gate a little bit it'll help you see that that center is actually starting to tap into the pipe of the gate we don't want that to happen so we're going to call it good for now so we've got our grease fitting here and this is just a pressure fit it's not threaded it's going to take a little bit of force to get through there not sure what's going to work the best so i've got a few options i've got a rubber mallet a plastic mallet Got a hammer and also a piece of wood if we need to use that as a cushion. All we're going to do is put that fitting there and whack it in. That worked pretty well, so this is going to allow us to put grease through that hole and grease this hinge so that these are quiet, smooth gates. For a grease gun, we're just going to fill this full of grease. Hopefully that'll work well. Now you can see this grease has just started to come out of the top of this hinge. 
That means once we rotate this around and get that grease good and set in there, this is gonna be a smooth, quiet gate. Now that we've got this one done, we've got about five more gates to do before we run out of daylight. So we're gonna quit filming and get to work. Finish with this gate and just to show you what a difference this makes, this gate is smooth and quiet, other than the chain hitting. But it's gonna make cattle working a lot easier. It's not gonna scare them, it's not gonna spook them, and it's gonna make our gates a lot easier to swing. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you on the next video at Farm and Ranch Hacks.